Welcome back to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Today we're going to learn how to form ions. Within this lesson, I am going to focus on monatomic ions, which are ions that are formed from one atom. Before I get into the details of this lesson, I want you to remember a few things. The first thing I want you to remember is that within an atom, the number of positive particles are equal to the number of negative particles. In other words, the number of protons are equal to the number of electrons. So take, for example, the atom that is being displayed. There are seven protons and also seven electrons. Based on this reasoning, we can clearly state that atoms are electrically neutral. In other words, the net charge or the total charge will equal to zero. This is because the positive particles will cancel out the negative particles. Within this lesson, I'm going to focus on only a few ions. So we're going to learn today how to form sodium ion, oxygen ion, aluminum ion, and chlorine ion. But before we go any further, I want you to bear in mind that ions are charged particles. So in order to get atoms become, become in charge, we must first note that ions are formed when atoms either lose or gain valence electrons. Now remember now, based on this statement, only the electrons can be gained or lost. The protons will remain the same. In terms of metals and nonmetals forming ions, we can state that metals will lose valence electrons, while nonmetals will gain valence electrons. Metals will become positively charged, while nonmetals will become negatively charged. Metals, when they form ions, those ions are called cations. While nonmetals, when they form ions, those ions are called anions. Now let's jump into the examples. The first example we're going to look at is sodium. Sodium has 11 electrons. Therefore, the electron configuration is 2, 8, 1. Now, the valence electrons are displayed in red for ease of understanding and for better viewing. So sodium is a metal, hence it will lose it va its valence electron, which is one in this case, and becomes two and eight. So notice the atomic form or the elementary form versus the ion. So there's a big difference in number of electrons. Metals lose electron. Now, what I, what I want you to note is that when ions are formed, the ions will resemble the closest noble gas. So, for example, if you look at the periodic table, you will notice that sodium will look like neon, 2 and 8, which is 10. The last shell seems to be filled. Now, let's look at this mathematically. If sodium has 11 protons, it therefore means it has 11 electrons. 11 positive plus 11 negative will give you zero. So, therefore, the charge on the atom in its elementary state is equal to zero. Now, sodium lost one electron. Therefore, the number of electrons now is 10. The number of protons remains. Therefore, the charge now is 11 positive plus 
10 negative will give you a positive 1. Therefore, sodium ion is written as Na+. We do not write the number 1 when you're writing the charges. So just bear that in mind as you write ions. Now let's look at our, our next example. Oxygen. Oxygen has 8 electrons. Therefore, the electronic configuration is 2 and 6. Now, this is a nonmetal. It will gain electrons. Now, if you remember electronic configuration, this shell can hold a maximum of 8. So, it can only gain 2 more. Now, I put these that are gained in black. So, you get to see the difference between the electrons gained and those that were lost. Now, this is now 8. So to fill this shell, it requires two. So therefore, the new electronic configuration, which is the electronic configuration for the ion, is two and eight. Now note the difference. Let us calculate this mathematically. Oxygen in its elementary state has eight protons and eight electrons. So eight positive plus eight negative equals to zero. That means there is no charge on the natural atom. When it gains two electrons, now the number of protons remain to be eight. The number of electrons will be ten. So eight positive plus ten negative gives negative two. So therefore, to write the ion of oxygen, it will be. O2 minus. And the value of the charge is based on the number of electrons that either gain or lost. Aluminum is our next example. And aluminum has 13 electrons. Therefore, electronic configuration is 2, 8, and 3. Now, think about whether this will lose or gain electron. It is a metal, therefore it will lose. So, therefore it will lose these three valence electrons and become 2 and 8. Mathematically, in the elementary state, so aluminum has 13 protons, 13 electrons, positive 13 plus negative 13 gives zero charge. In the ion state, when it loses those three electrons, there are 13 protons and 10 electrons. Therefore, positive 13 plus negative 10 equals to 3. Therefore, the charge on aluminum will be Al3+. Plus. So it is positive charge and it is three positive now let's look at our next example which is chlorine chlorine has 17 electrons so therefore the electron configuration will be two eight and seven will this gain or lose electron well this will gain because it is a non-metal and so it will gain one electron. Notice the one in black. Gaining one electron, the new electron configuration will be 2, 8, 8. Mathematically, 17 protons, 17 electrons, positive 17 plus negative 17 gives 0. When it forms the ion, notice the number of electron now changes. 17 proton, 18 electrons, because it gained one electron. Now, positive 17 plus negative 18 gives negative 1. Therefore, the chlorine ion is written as Cl minus. Remember, you do not write the number 1. Now, let's do something easy. Peasy, lemon, squeezy. If you look at the periodic table, 
you can easily know the type of ions that can be formed from, from any of the groups, particularly metals and nonmetals. So if the element is in group 1, we know it's a metal, therefore we lose electron and become positively charged. So all group 1 elements will lose 1 electron and become a positive 1. Group 2, they will lose 2 electrons and become positive 2 ions. Group 3, they will lose 3 electrons and become positively charged. In this case, it will be 3 positive. If it is in group 5, to make it 8, it gains 3. And once it gains 3 electrons, it will become negative 3. If it is in group 6, it will gain 2 electrons to become 8. So remember, 5 will gain 3, 6 will gain 2. And so if it gains 2 electrons, it will become negative 2. For group 7, the elements will gain 1 electron and become negative 1. So easy, easy way to remember group 1, positive 1. Group 2, positive 2. Group 3, positive 3. Group 5, gain 3, negative 3. Group 6, gain 2, negative 2. Group 7, gain 1, negative 1. Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. Now in summary, to finish this lesson, ions are formed when atoms lose or gain electron or electrons. The next point to note is that metals form positively charged ions by losing electrons. Nonmetals form negatively charged ions by gaining electrons. Last point is that electronic configuration of ions resembles that of the closest noble gas. And now we're at the end of another learning series and I hope to see you in the other lesson. St stay safe until we meet again.